Hi there, it's Nicole here today with a Safari Scene birthday card featuring new stamps and dies, as well as some liquid watercolors from Hero Arts. This is a really quick and easy way to create any kind of occasion card, but I especially love the birthday greetings from this really awesome color layering elephant stamp set that I'm gonna to use to create my little safari scene. In addition, I'm going to be using this awesome little thorn tree and grass image, as well as the uh, safari sunset. These dies were die cut from some watercolor cardstock and I'm gonna be using some liquid watercolors, also brand new, part of the spring 2018 release, to um, color in these dies for my background. And they are so easy to use. I'm simply using a palette here and then picking them up with some of um, a couple of paint brushes and coloring in or applying that color to the die cut pieces. This is a very, very quick and easy way to apply color and get that color on your dies so that you can immediately start putting together a card. All you've got here is a little bit of dry time. And even for a little more interest, you could mix and match colors. Now I used the moss color for the grass. I'm gonna be using Art Print Brown for the tree, the tree trunk itself here. And I'm going to lay that color down first. You can see I'm just kind of picking the color up, laying it down, moving it around. If you wanted to water it down a little bit, you could add some water to it. I did not add any water to mine. I wanted to show you just how easy they are to use right out of the bottle. They're fantastic, very pigmented, you get fantastic coverage with them. I really, really can't say enough great things about them. This is my first time using them and they're really easy to use right out of the bottle. I've talked before in my videos about how intimidated I am by watercoloring. It is something that I really have to work at. Um, I usually try to find little cheat ways to watercolor because I just have such a hard time with it. It's not something that comes easily to me. And this, these watercolors and adding the colors to the dyes really made me feel successful. And anytime I have that, it really just makes you feel good. It's a fantastic way to add color and another color medium. Medium. I love additional color me coloring mediums. I can't even talk today. Um, for my sunset, I am using dandelion, strawberry, and mold wine. And what I'm doing is going over those colors quite a bit to get a nice transition. And I'm gonna keep going over them to totally get that transition from yellow to kind of purple. The purple is definitely the most muted. You're not gonna see that a whole lot. I really just wanted it darkened up at the bottom so it goes from light to dark. Now, I let these sit and completely air dry. If you are in a hurry, you definitely could go ahead and hit them with a heat tool. Let's move on to the color layering elephants now. I am going to stamp both the large and the small elephants with a light gray ink first they each have three layers and they are so easy to line up. I did end up stamping the base layer twice, one on top of another. I highly recommend with color layering that you use a stamp positioning tool of some sort. This is the Tim Holtz stamp platform. The Misty is fabulous but it really helps you be successful with the color layering, especially if you've got to stamp the image more than once. That solid image of the elephants really needed stamped more than once to get fantastic coverage. Then I took a slightly darker gray ink for the uh, mid-tone or the middle layer of the color layering elephant, and look at all that fabulous detail there. It really is bringing these elephants to life. 
And finally, there is an outline for each, the large and the small. I'm gonna take both of those, stamp that outline with a black ink. And this is just a VersaFine black ink. It's my favorite ink for a nice crisp black outline or sentiment. And because I'm not doing any Copic coloring on these images, that works great. I went ahead and die cut those images then with the coordinating color layering elephant dies. And I'm just gonna kind of lay out my elephants or my scene rather on a white top fold card base. Make sure that I like how it's gonna look, make sure everything is kind of lining up the way I think it's going to. I even have a sentiment from the Color Layering Elephants stamp set laid up at the top. The scene is mostly in the bottom three quarters of this particular card. The sentiment is gonna sit up there at the top because there's a nice white space up there, perfect for the greeting. I am gonna go ahead and attach my sun, or my sunset, rather, and I did not get it centered, and I did use a really sticky ink, but I think I'm gonna be able to salvage my card base without having to um, do anything else, and I'm just gonna shift it over a little bit. It probably would have been fine where it was. I just really felt like with the rest of my scene, it would look better centered. I also attach the grass along the bottom edge of the card. The grass die is four and a quarter inches, which means it's going to be perfect along the short edge of an A2 sized card base. I used Ranger Multi Matte Medium to add some adhesive, glue adhesive to the back of my tree, place that along the edge. It is partially hanging off the edge. This helps ground the scene to the card. I will trim off that excess once the glue has dried. And then I'm gluing both of my elephants in place along the bottom edge, sort of like they're walking in the safari here, walking in the grass, the sun is going down. The last image I need for my scene card is the little balloon image from the Color Layering Elephant stamp set. I stamped this with an ink for Copic coloring this time, and I am going to color in that balloon with some red Copic markers. I'm using R27, 46, and 39, laying that color down. Now, there is a balloon string that comes and coordinates with this because there's a matching die. I find that it's easier to do the balloon, die cut that, and then stamp the balloon string. Otherwise, you it's a little hard to get it lined up perfectly. So that's just a little tip. If you're gonna be stamping these balloons, I would recommend stamping just the balloon itself, die cutting that, and then adding the stamped balloon string after you've die cut the image. I'm gonna glue that in place like the small elephant is holding onto it with its trunk. Stamp the greeting up at the top edge of the card. And then I'm gonna flip my card over, trim off all of that excess from the tree, and my card is all finished. Thanks for joining me today for this safari-themed birthday card featuring hero arts, stamps, dyes, and liquid watercolors. The supplies I use to create my card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos that you might be interested in. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.